Raghavan asks, what factors other than expense ratio should be looked at while selecting a debt fund? And further on, uh, Mr. Natarajan asks, how important is AUM uh, while choosing between similarly late rated liquid or short term funds? Uh, it depends. Even when it comes, you know, there, there are different kind of fixed income funds. When it comes to the shorter maturity fund, you know, the liquid fund, the ultra short term bond fund and uh, the <clears throat> short term bond fund, I would go by the size, you know, the uh, liquid fund and ultra short term bond fund size gives mutual fund a scale. And I don't think I have much to look at except for uh, except for the expense ratio. Uh, and a very tiny fund will might be at a, at some disadvantage. So I would go by the size of a liquid fund and ultra short term bond fund. Short term bond fund, dynamic bond fund. There I would like to look at you know a mid sized fund. Also it depends on the complexion because it's very hard to de-risk yourself from the action of some investors in such a fund. So I would look at you know how the fund has grown over a period of time. But more importantly. Uh, I'll be evaluating at the managers. I will be the, evaluating the fund based on the manager's case. There are funds which are able to, you know, produce little less return, marginally lower return, but they are risk covered uh, and they don't take undue risk. I would go with that because that remains one of the primary things with with any fixed income investor. Fixed income investors are fixed uh, are so entirely because you know they don't want to. Uh, uh, risk a big part, you know, they, they, they don't have an appetite for any capital erosion. Uh, so, uh, and capital erosion can happen in the intermittent because uh, if a manager is taking a view and things don't work out to that, uh, to, uh, to, to uh, his expectation, then things might uh, not turn out to be as expected. Likewise, I'm very averse to funds which are, which are, which take huge credit risk because coming to dynamic bond fund and income fund. I'll be I'll be going by fund which will which takes very low uh, credit exp you know uh, does not get into or does not delve into poor credit quality. Look at the fund page on Value Research Online. We give a very detailed credit you know the credit rating breakup of each and every portfolio. Uh, it is very hard for you to look at the invest the portfolio and try and figure figure that out. We are able to we we aggregate that thing that what percentage of the money is in double A. What percentage is in AAA? Take a look at that. A higher low, a higher allocation to lower rated bonds uh, should be avoidable, uh, even if the fund turns out to be a superior performer. Uh, then comes, uh, you know, how the fund has done in both market cycles, because you know, um, last one two years, investors have got an experience of getting a surprise on the rate outlook. Historically. Indian, you know, Indian bond market, everybody, most fund managers have a, you know, there, there is a complete convergence. Everybody thinks alike. Uh, and uh, many a times uh, a good fund manager is able to, uh, to add significant value. I think there too, having a very small scale is a disadvantage because uh, the market dynamics of, of bond market in India is such that if a fund has little scale, they have, they get, they are able to get finer pricing. Uh, so go by these three things, how the fund has done in a full market cycle, avoid the poor credit exposure, and then uh, reasonable scale, not necessarily a very large scale.